Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Out of ammo, out of time, I'm your host Karabi Terra 8 and here we are with another uh, edition of Elder Signs Omens. This is episode 8 and we are here with Daryl Simmons taking on Yig. Now what is the Investigator Games I hear you ask? I'm glad you asked me that because it's like the Hunger Games. The difference is, is uh, we take each investigator in a Arkham Files game, in this case Elder Signs, and or Elder Sign Omens, and we put them in against the uh, against the mythos, whatever it may be. And in this season for Elder Sign Omens, it's Yig, and we see how they go. And based on how they go, we put them into a league table like this one. Uh, and uh, as you can see in this league table, we've. Uh, We've uh, had uh, some people do better than others, uh, and it's uh, been an interesting ride so far. Um, yes, so uh, those those by the end of the season at the top of the table will be covered in glory. Those at the bottom will hang their heads in shame and will hope to uh, do well in the next edition, uh, or the next season, uh, which would be with another old one. So yes, we're here with Daryl Simmons, and spoilers, if you haven't played Elder Signs in real life, I would encourage you to do that. If you haven't played Elder Signs Omens, I would encourage you to download it onto your iPad, or um, uh, onto your, um, yeah, through Steam, or something like that. I'm not sure if you can get it on Android, but uh, I've been playing it on iPad and Steam. I'm playing it here on Steam, and it really is a fantastic game to play, and uh, easy to pick up so I really would recommend it uh, it really is great it's sort of like Yahtzee meets Call of Cthulhu so it's uh, it's a lot of fun um, so yes we're here with Daryl Simmons uh, the sort of photographer investigator jour slash journalist um, he uh, he starts uh, reasonably balanced he has a six health and four sanity so a bit more on the health side um, he has the advantage that he can add one to a glyph result, which uh, can be very handy at times. Uh, you know, when you're trying to roll for a three and you're getting a two, it can really make a difference. The other thing that it can do is it can increase the efficiency of your rolls. For anyone who knows and has played the game a fair bit, sometimes when you're trying to get, you know, eight, uh, eight on uh, glyphs, um, you, you, you sometimes find yourself... Um, you know, instead of just being able to do three, three, and two, you end up with a three, uh, two, and two ones, and so you end up using four glyphs. So it also increases the efficiency as well from that perspective. So very handy to have. Daryl also starts with a yellow and a red glyph, so uh, a common item and a uh, and a unique item. So that's very nice, and of course, no trophies at the moment. So let's see how he goes. Um, he's got some um, fairly stiff opposition in terms of the number of turns, it, you know, in terms of doing this fast. Um, some of the other investigators have done this fairly, um, fairly fast. I'm just trying to remember uh, the speed because I changed the, um, yes, here we go. I changed the way that I was, um, I was analysing the investigators because the scores were not really lining up with performance. So I think at the moment Jenny Barnes is doing the best because she managed to finish everything in only 10 turns with only two on the Doom track. So she's doing really, really well. So 10 turns is the sort of the, uh, the speediest that anyone's done it. Um, so that's the sort of speed to beat. We will see how Daryl goes. All right, so let's start by having a look what's happening here in the museum with Daryl. I can see a couple of things. First of all, there are no midnight effects, but oh, we've got a green glyph locked, which is always a real pain. But anyway, let's go around the houses and see what we've got. So this one's your classic forgotten knowledge, which is a good way of getting a few things. And for Daryl, um, can be helpful because... Um, he needs extra things, but also he can deal with these larger sized um, plays. So that's quite a good one. Did you hear that? This is where the green glyph is locked. So this is the one we have to deal with. And it's particularly nasty because it's three skulls. So uh, we really do have to deal with this. And at the moment, we've um, 
And we've got a yellow glyph, but that's all. So we really do need to um, do something about that. This is missing records. This is actually a good one because this gives us re-rolls and this is exactly what we need to get the green glyph black back. So I'm thinking this one is definitely worthwhile. The downside's not too bad. We've got the entrance. Then we've got stay away from the windows, which will be nice to do down the track, but not straight away. Uh, two elder signs. And then we've got the gift shop, the useless gift shop. Seriously, this one is like, why would you bother? It's like, yeah. I mean, I suppose, but uh, I mean, I suppose we could do it, but we see the green glyph is locked, so it makes it very difficult to do it. But, you know, uh, haunted by a shadowy figure. This gives us lots of stuff. Wow. That's that that could uh, that's definitely worthwhile doing as long as you get the uh, peril, the terror and the peril in the in the first roll. So you'd really want some, at least one re-roll for that one. And then we're back to forgotten knowledge. So my feeling is we should probably start with this one, then we can get rid of the green glyph. That's my feeling. So let's give this one a go um, and see how we go. We've got a yellow glyph to start with as well. So missing records, unbelievable. The fact that someone had tried to hide this ledger proves that this horrid collection of cursed relics was gathered in full knowledge of their terrible significance. Okay, so we're going to need the uh, yellow glyph. Hopefully we won't need the law, but you never know. So let's go ahead and roll up. This is a pretty good start. So and we can always increase something here. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, we keep the law. The main thing is doing this one. So I think, yeah, I mean, we just do the four and the three and we get, we do that. Let's shuffle up again and we get the three, but we don't get the law yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a one and I'm going to keep the three and hopefully we will draw into a law and we do so we don't need to use the law. There we go. So we've done it. We've got the two re-rolls. So that's good. That's a that's a good start. Uh, and we get a midnight effect. Ah oh boy. Okay. Things are going to be a bit rough for old Daryl, I can see. So what is the midnight effect? We got the hedge maze. Minus one stamina. Uh, that that sort of builds up over time, but it's not the end of the world. The green glyph is much, much worse. So now we've got two re-rolls under law. Can we do this one? Well, basically we need three skulls if we're going to do this one. Do we try and um, get something else like this one? Because this would be quite good to have. And it's got the law. I think I'm going to try and get this one first. Let's try for forgotten knowledge. With the beardy guy here. Looks a bit worried. Is that Milan Christopher, I wonder? What does it say? I felt as if the mysterious author of these crumbling parchments knew what was to befall me and was desperately trying to help me from beyond the grave. Okay, let's roll up. Um... Hmm. Hmm. We really need to. Uh, we're going to have to use one of these re rolls and see if we can roll into. Yes, there we go. So we get three, six, nine. And that and then all we need to do with this is replace that with a law and we're done so we needed to use yeah we needed to use stuff but we got stuff and we kept one of our re-rolls so that's something oh it's really hard with green glyph locks oh dear and i think i don't yeah okay so we got lots of stuff here now i think we can be we can safely go ahead and try this one now uh, what did we get oh the new one what was the new one well, we got a couple of new ones let me review them after this the first thing is let's get rid of this green glyph lock did you hear that 
Uh, looks like Daisy and Roland here. Did you hear that? I was so focused on the strange sound that, that at some point I had unconsciously closed my eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let's give ourselves a red glyph. So we've got an extra glyph. And let's hope that's going to be enough to give us what we want. And it certainly is in the first instance. We can, uh, that's the hardest hurdle. So all we need now is another peril. And hopefully we will get it. And we do. Look at that. Wow, that was a really good outcome. We got a monster, but we got a whole swag of stuff in the process. So that was that was pretty positive, actually. So not too bad. We got rid of the green glyph in the first round. And we've got one point until midnight. So we've got lots of stuff. So the question is, what do we spend? What do we spend our time doing? So we have the hidden threat, which is always a fairly easy way to get an, an elder sign. That craze writings is pretty straightforward as well. Stay away from the windows gives us double elder sign. The gift shop. I mean, that's one where you probably just want to roll and just hope you get everything. Um, uh, a shadowy figure appears. Well, we've got a, a maniac in the middle of that one, and a mother monster can appear. That could be quite nasty. And here is the midnight effect three skulls. Um, but we get lots of stuff, and the downside, I think we try and do this one. Mm. Yeah, let's try and do it because we're going to have to deal with it at some stage. Um, because if we get two midnight effects, things can start to get a bit nasty. So there we go. So we start with not two skulls, but we get we can get rid of that. So there we go. We just need two skulls now, he says. We just, just need two skulls. Well, there's one of the skulls. So hopefully, with any luck, I'll put that one up here and then drag that one back. We can get another skull, and we don't. We'll try again, and we get both skulls. There we go. Okay, we took two rerolls, but we got there. Nice. Another monster has appeared, but I think that's a pretty successful first round, um, all round for Daryl. I think that's a pretty good start. Okay, let's see what the midnight effect has. Bong, and so at midnight monster oh boy we're in monster city now we've got three monsters so that's going to start to be a problem for us okay so let's just review where we're at so we're fine from that perspective we've got quite a few things including a monster killing thing lots of holdings um and what have we got here so we probably should be trying to get some more elder signs that's a fairly easy one but it means another monster appears that's a really easy one um that one is a good one um and a good one for daryl as well but the downside is fairly major no oh, that's not <laughs> that's so not worth it um hmm this hidden passage is pretty good actually because holding is exactly what this is for these uh, spell books because you can hold things over so i'm thinking we probably start with the hidden passage yes i think we start with the hidden passage okay we'll bring out a yellow glyph so the first thing we need is three so we uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm not going to i'm going to use that so we can do that but do we need to hold anything yes let's hold a law at the same time put in the three there we go so we just need a skull now um yeah there we go there's the skull and the three easy and then we roll it again and there's the law. We didn't even need the yellow glyph. Wow. So we didn't get much for that. We spent quite a bit of our resources, but we got two elder signs. So that was something quite positive in that way. So there we go. 
So what have we got now? We're a little bit lower on stuff now. So we need something that's going to give us a few things. That one will. I think we should do this one. I mean, it means another monster, though. That's the only problem. Um, hmm. But we've got a monster killing thing, so I think we will do this one because it will give us some extra. If we can get through this one without actually having to add to it, then I think we will be in a good place. So there's one peril. Um, okay, let's, whoops. Is that four, is it? Okay, whoops, hold on. Oh yeah, so let's do that. All right, let's hope that we get a peril and we do, there we go. Okay. So far, so good. We're up to four Elder Signs. I forgot to read the text that went with that one. Never mind. All right, so, so far, so good with Daryl. Yeah, we've got lots of things. So we've got a red glyph. So the question is, what do we go for now? Because we've got a red glyph and we've got a couple of holding pieces. So, well, we could do that one, but that's fairly easy-ish. Could do that one. That feels like. Not sure that's that great. This one's a good one. Mm, we've got a red glyph to go with it. So yeah, that's cons we'll consider that one. Not that one. This one here, actually, would be good. I think I might do this one first because if we can get this without having to spend much, maybe use a spell book, we can be in a really good place. Guided tour. The docent shared a number of anecdotes about the museum's own strange history. Okay, so let's... Um, I'm going to try and avoid using the red glyph. Let's see if we can do it without. Okay, that was that. I wonder if we hold that. Or we hold the... Actually, what I might do is I might hold the law. I'm playing a bit conservatively here, but... Uh, Oh boy, Whew. that was good. I was a bit worried there. So we uh, get the four, we roll up again, and we get that. So there we go. So we got some nice stuff there. That was great. We didn't have to spend any resources to do it. That's always good when we do that. So, um, Daryl is now, I think we're one away from midnight. We've got so much stuff now. So I think the thing is to try and get two Elder Signs if we can. Um, that one, I think. What were the new ones that we got? Oh, this one, Unnatural Habitat. Well, that's not worth it. That's terrible. Why would you do that one? You wouldn't. And that one, okay. So definitely, where is it? It's here. Stay away from the windows is a perfect one. So let's stay away from the windows. Good advice. As much as I fear the dark places amongst exhibits, I fear the pools of pale moonlight even more. I have learned all too well to stay away from the ornate windows throughout the museum. Indeed. Okay, so let's give ourselves a red glyph. Do we need a yellow one as well? I might try and see if we can do without it. And we get... First of all, we get the two skulls, so let's get rid of that. Do we hold anything? I don't think so. Let's see what we get. Four, five, six, here we go. So I think we're fine because we can turn a two into a three, uh, as Daryl can. And there we go. There's the easy. There we go. Six. So we're over halfway. And we've only done two. And this is only the second midnight. So Daryl is really powering through this. I thought things were going to be really tough at the beginning, but actually they've turned out he's done really, really well. So let's see what Midnight brings. Midnight brings another monster. It really is bringing the monsters to the table, isn't it? Wow. Okay. So let's just review where we're at. So we've got lots of stuff. We've got lots of stuff. That's great. We haven't lost any anything in terms of damage. Wow. So what we've got, we've got, and how many, how much money have we got? We've got 13 monies. So the other thing is we've got 
lots of ways we can buy an elder sign so we only need to get three more elder signs which is great so let's you know let's see this is one of the elder signs that's that is a really easy one to do if we kill the monster that's uh, the downside is big on that one that one's not worth doing that one's relatively easy to do except if more monsters appear the archives no so there's one there there's two there there's three there so there's only three elder i think this elder sign is probably is it this one the best one to do or this one or this one this one actually feels like this would be relatively easy to do so let's do this one as long as we don't end up with a bazillion monsters on the table do we try and see if we can do without that so there we go there's the first one so all we need now is a peril we don't get that let's try and uh, see how we go ah we better re-roll again come on no we don't that was unfortunate we get another monster on the table which i was afraid of oh no 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 and another monster uh -oh, this is this is what i was afraid of and now i'm i'm kicking myself now come on no oh my goodness that was terrible what like just as things were going really well we had an absolutely horrendous horrendous round that should have been oh and there's a red glyph locked and everything oh my goodness okay well i think the first thing is oh boy um oh boy do we have a red glyph at the moment we don't so let's not worry about it um let's do this one let's get some more elder signs in place so i'm going to try and do this okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of the monster there we go second thing we're going to do is we're going to drop the lore in uh, so what we need is a terror oh boy come on oh no please come on seriously oh boy i think i'm gonna have to put in a yellow glyph because i'm really worried didn't want to have to do this but Ugh, there it is okay Whew. we didn't get much for that that was oh well we're up to seven now so that's something things are going really well there and we're now down to almost nothing but i think we've got a bit of cash we have so is there an easy way to There's this one, but no. Hmm. I think we go shopping. Hmm. Okay. I think we heal ourselves up. don't want to end up going insane so I think we've been a bit conservative there but we're, but I don't want to end up in a okay there's the first doom so it's not like it's the main thing is we just need to get two more elder signs so we've got what does this do again oh that just that's not quite what we wanted oh dear okay is there anything uh, no not that one not that one i think we go for this one now now that we've boosted our, boosted our sanity um let's see how we go 
Um, okay, that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in that and keep that. Okay. See how we go again. So there's that and that. To so all we need now is a peril. And we're not going to get one, are we? Oh no, more monsters. There it is. Oh boy. Oh, that was... And another monster. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we're up to eight. So all we have to do is... All we have to do is get one more Elder Sign. Um, red Glyphs are no good to us. Unless we get rid of this Red Glyph. Um... The downside isn't too bad, so maybe we just do this and fail it. Um, we've got a midnight effect here. Oh, it's the curator. Oh, minus two trophies. So um, is there an easy way for us to get... Look at that. I've never seen that. Look at this. <laughs> um... Could we do that one? Mm, it doesn't feel like it. Curator, no. Oh, is that the only ones? Um, there's one, two, three, two, four, five. And we're only getting, and we can't use the red glyph. So I think the thing is we've got to try and deal with this red glyph. So I think the first thing we do, even though I don't want to do this one, is get rid of this unnatural habitat. Uh, that wasn't a good start at all. So we will re-roll everything. Um, that, that, and a three. Okay, we don't want to hold anything. Oh boy. Okay, oh, I think we're going to fail this. Yep. Oh boy, we are really, we are really struggling now. Ah, oh, things started so good and now they're just really not going well for Daryl. We better go and heal ourselves up. So we're going to get ourselves two more, get our sanity back up. Get that back up. Okay. Um, maybe we should go to the souvenir shop and buy ourselves. Uh, yep. Oh, I wonder if I should have bought that elder sign now. Doom plus two. Another monster. Oh boy. Okay, so what have we got? Okay, so we've got lots of things, but we still haven't, we still try, we need to try and do this one again. We need to, we need the red glyphs. So we need to get rid of this monster. Um, we just need the, yes, so let's do this. That's gone. Um, and we fail. Let's fail the adventure. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to worry about it. I just wanted to get rid of that. Okay, how much money have we got? We've got 10. So um, I think we um, we get the Elder Sign. I don't want to lose that either. Okay, so all we need now is one final Elder Sign. Can we do it? What's going to be the best? That's really hard. This, this one here, this is the one to go with. Okay. All right, we're bringing out the big... Oh, no, what am I doing? Don't need that one. Bringing out the big guns here. Two glyphs. Okay. 
So the first thing we're going to do is, um, uh, is that the, oh no, uh, we got nothing. All right, I'm going to, um, no, yes, I'm going to hold a law and I'm going to get rid of this and hold another law. So we've got the laws at least. Um, there's the there's a terror. Okay. So we just need a peril to go with these. There we go. There's that. There's that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. no. I think I'm better off. Am I better off getting rid of him? Or better off getting well it doesn't actually matter because it's the same either way so let's get rid of him yeah so we need another peril yes we did it oh my goodness i wasn't sure whether we were going to manage that and we did it there it is ladies and gentlemen we did it so that's the end wow so that was that was an interesting game so things started really 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 well um they started really fantastic for Daryl uh, and then they kind of went a bit pear-shaped <laughs> all of a sudden. So, but I think he was pretty fast. He only, um, he, um, he didn't take very long to get through. I think he, like it says here, he did 18 turns. Um, and I think in terms of the doom slots, it's saying empty doom slots, but, um, there were, hmm. uh, he, he, um, I think there was only three doom down on the table. So he did pretty well. I think that was reasonably fast. So anyway, if you wait till the end of this video, you'll see how Daryl has done. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, Elder Sign Omens. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, next time, we will uh, be running through the. Uh, uh, investigator gains elder sign omens edition with against yig with um who's next um will be bob jenkins the shrewd dealer and uh, whenever bob gains one or more common items he receives an extra common item so we look forward to seeing how bob goes next time but thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon goodbye